believe if you want to be the best at it, you've got to be obsessed by it, you've got to give your life it, you've got to live it, you've got to breathe it, you've got to be that going to go, willing to go that extra mile just where certain people aren't willing to go. Losers always have an excuse. Everyone who loses or something, losers have excuses. You can sit around and wait for stuff to happen, or you can get out there and make things happen, and that is massively important in any walk of life. It don't matter who you are or what you do, you've got to get after it, you've got to chase it, you've got to make it happen yourself because no one's going to get gifted to you. You're going to have to work for it and those people who are working and those people who are just grinding and they are going the extra hour, doing the extra mile, they're the ones that are going to be at the top. Obsession is massively important in anything, not just fighting, just in any walk of life where you want to be successful. Is it worth it? In, is the end goal worth all the hard work that you're putting through? Is it worth dragging yourself out of bed when your body's in pain? Is it worth getting in there and sparring with some guy who's probably a lot better than you but you're trying to better yourself? Is it worth round five when you're exhausted and there's 30 seconds left and the fight's even? Is it worth pushing yourself that little bit extra? Is it worth doing running an extra mile? Is it worth getting up at six in the morning and doing hill sprints? Is it worth it? And the answer will always be for me, yes. Forget the things you can't control. Look for the moments you can control. Lose the times you can't control. Use the times you can control. This is your journey. This is your destiny. And either you wander aimlessly or you grab the wheel and take control of the ship. Either you head in the direction you want to go or you go in no direction at all. Losers always have an excuse. Most people allow life to happen to them. Their time runs like a Sandzheimer. Life is happening to them. It isn't happening for them. Make life work for you. Make your time work for you. Do not allow your time to empty each day without achieving anything. Go into the world today and spend your time wisely. Make small wins every day that will lead you down the path to success. Motivation gets you started, but habit will keep you going. Motivation is great. It is like a coffee in the morning. It gets the engine going and gets you moving, but it is a habit that will develop your success. I had to face my fears, I had to go to Thailand and, and train with these guys and fight them in Thailand because I thought maybe I'm not as good as I think. I thought there's only one way to find out and go over there and then I just have to fight with them every time, I have to train with them every day. And by doing that, that brought me up to the next level. I went out there and I faced my fears, but look where it's got me now. It was like the, the end goal of all that was always more important than any fear that I ever felt. Be brave because no one remembers a coward. Be brave, be bold, be courageous, take risks, take chances, take opportunities. Grab life with both hands, take the bull by the horns and live. Losers always have an excuse. I will not quit because I am better than that. I will not give in because I am powerful. I will not quit because I can succeed. I will not quit because quitting is not in my nature. I will not quit. I will never quit. I will never surrender. You do have to do a bit of soul searching and you have to question yourself, but it all comes down to is the juice worth the squeeze and is it worth putting everything else back in? Um, or are you just gonna quit and just let that be like that? It all comes down to that and that's the most powerful weapon you've got. It's how bad do you want it and how, bad, William, how much can you let that control you or not control you? It was tough at the time thinking, oh, what am I doing, what am I doing? But I realised I'm doing it because I love it and where I feel at home. That you can only be truly good at something that you love. So yeah, it is massively important to find something you truly, truly love. We all know that we have one chance at life. So why not say, I'm all in? Why not risk everything to live the life you are capable of? The world wants the best version of you. So why are you denying the world of your gifts and talents? Why are you hiding in the shadows of other great people? 
You just need to decide. Decide to step up to the plate. Decide to step out of the shadow. Decide to let go of the fear you have. Decide to be great because you are capable. I often believe your mind's your strongest weapon and your body will, yeah, your mind will give up before your body long ever does. You just need to tell yourself it won't. Like David Goggins and people like, look what they do with their, their body and it's their mind that's making them do it. You know what, you've got like a devil and an angel on your shoulder all the time and that devil just needs to knock it off because you're always going to have these doubts. You know what, I come in here some days, I'll be training for a fight and I'll train three days in a row and I'll be on fire and I'll have one bad day which is expected when you're doing like an eight week camp or anything like that. And you have one bad day and that bad day outweighs the good three days by a mile. And I'll go on thinking, oh well, shit, I'm shit. What am I doing? What am I doing here? I'm going to get battered in this fight. But then you come back in the next morning, you have one good session again and that doubt's gone again. So you just, it, it's hard to, to get rid of them demons. And I think every top athlete will have some doubts always creeping, but it's the ones who just manage to just ignore them and knock them to one side. and. Just think like, oh, it's part and parcel of it. You're always, no matter what you're doing, I'm pretty sure Usain Bolt must think sometimes, think, oh, shit, what, if, uh, what if Johnson or someone else beats me at this race or something like that, you know? It must just creep in at some point, but they're so mentally strong, they just go, fuck, don't matter. It's gone and then they'll be back to the tunnel vision. Um, I think any athlete who says that they never have any sort of doubts is, is lying. I think everyone's got one that creeps in somewhere, but it's the ones who just manage to just push them to one side and keep the tunnel vision and keep the, what I do is I visualise after the fight. I don't visualise what's going to happen in the fight because I never know. I just always visualise what it's like to win after the fight, what I'll be doing after the fight, how I'll feel after the fight. And I think doing that, that always helps you stay mentally strong. I don't want to do something unless I'm the best at it. When I walked through this door, I did not want to just fight to like turn up to fights and make up the numbers or anything like that. I wanted to be a champion and that was that. And I'd always stay behind afterwards and after the class I'd go on the bag upstairs on my own. I even used to stand in the mirror and like film myself on my old crappy phones and stuff and like make sure my stance were okay and stuff like that. Uh, and I think even before that, even before camera phones were around when I was about 13, 14, I used to use my, my, my digicam, my dad's recorder and stuff and just film myself to make sure I thought my stance were okay and stuff like that. And that's like, I think, the sort of mentality that takes you from being just a, a fighter to a champion. Obviously, as I got older and my friends are going out and stuff, I've had to miss a lot of things like parties and nights out and stuff like that, but I wouldn't change it for the world, you know. You can go out on the piss anytime, but like for the, the life I've led and the, the experiences I've had and stuff like that, I would not change a thing. I have sacrificed a lot and I probably missed out on a lot, but I've gained a lot more. Today is your day to tell your story, to speak your mind to tell the truth about your future, to speak about the power you've always had, the potential you've always had. This is how you succeed. You will be your power. You have this power. Communicate your problems. Communicate the power you know that you have. This is the beginning of your power, the start of your progress. Take every day as an opportunity to be better every day to have the power to try something new, to become something new. This is where your progress can be kickstarted. Accelerate your life into your direction. Your journey is the power you've earned. Now isn't the time to wait. Now isn't the time to waste. Let this be the power that takes you towards your success. This is the opportunity you've earned. This is the potential you've always had step out of the crowd and step into your success.